hello my love bugs once again it's your girl Lumi love here with another message from the divine as i always say today if you're hearing my voice i ask that you harden not your heart i'm just the messenger and we are all here to witness and learn thank you guys for your likes subscribe shares and views everything's greatly appreciated no i did not know what kind of reading i was gonna do <laughs> but this is what i saw so let's go with this one i'm also hearing um a song just a touch of love a little bit <laughs> just a touch of love i don't know whose song that that is but i remember it just a touch of love a little bit all right somebody's getting ready to go <laughs> someone's getting ready to go on a honeymoon okay a holiday a trip together you guys maybe are in the honeymoon stage okay or you guys could be getting ready to you know, if you get married or you got married or something, you can be heading to a honeymoon. But this is really like a break is what I'm getting. A holiday. I mean, a holiday celebrates you big kids holiday. Okay, this got something to do with friends. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, maybe your spirit guides are giving you support, having you trust in this relationship. Yeah, because this is some true love right here. So your spirit guides are telling you, baby, we picked this person out especially for you. They ain't worried about nobody else but you. And they're going to take care of you and surprise you. And this is going to be something that's going to last a lifetime. Just a touch of love. A little bit a little bit this is a lot of love okay new love is coming in new love is on the way your spirit guides have placed this in your life for a specific reason and you are going to just be taken away by how loving this person is by how much they love you how much like how much you can play maybe you had to lead a serious life a lot of serious situations but you're going to be able to express your love this person is going to be able to play around and express their love you're going to recapture romance if you don't know what that is you're going to if you feel like even though you're young you've been working hard or let's not even say young or old because half of us who get abducted and done all kind of weird shit done to us that we're not aware of all kind of 5d and, and manipulation into the 3d like you really don't know how old you are a lot of y'all are not as old as your body says y'all not as old as this skin suit okay some of you guys are older than your skin suit and your skin suit might be young whatever um this person is going to you got you you got to feel youthful in this situation you guys are both going to feel youthful i'm getting this maybe some inner child healing that's going to happen and then you guys are going to be able to go into this honeymoon stage this teenager stage this you give me butterflies oh my goodness i love you but this is <laughs> this is the energy that's gonna last a lifetime because you're you're supposed to express your love to this person you and this person expressing love to each other is going to heal a lot of shit on this earth not just with y'all okay because you have to understand what you fix within it changes around you what you fix within fixes what's around you <laughs> okay so trust this it's safe for you to love and express your love you're going to be able to do this trust it trust it trust it it's going to happen very soon no matter how antsy you're getting no matter how impatient you're getting this is going to happen when the holy spirits have set it up to where you and this person are going to be able to go on a trip and i'm really hearing you're focusing more on your responsibilities that you have at home you love to flirt with this person you love to be with this person but you have kids and you don't want your child or your children like it's not that you think your children are going to stop you from finding love. That's farthest from what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is you're very responsible. You don't trust nobody around your child except for maybe one or two people. Um, <laughs> you know, and you want to go on a trip. And it's like, do I take my baby? I don't want to leave my baby. And then you're the type of person that if you go on your trip, I don't want to worry about what my baby's doing. I want her to be with someone I'm comfortable with her being with. It's something about let these people help you. There's going to be someone maybe that you don't think. Someone who probably is not that nice to you. Then <laughs> I know this is so messed up, but someone who's probably being fake with you and your family is going to be the one that is going to watch your child for you, maybe. But they're going to want some money to do so. Sheesh. Yeah, they're going to want some money to try to watch this baby for you because you're going to have time apart away from them. But trust it, it's okay. Nothing's going to happen to your baby. This is a secret time for you to get to know this masculine so that y'all can move forward. And then you can bring your child with you next time. Or shit, if you guys move forward and get married, your child's going to be involved in everything. You just have to take one break away from your child. Yeah, this is a chance for you to love yourself first. Your baby is protected. You're okay. Don't let any deceptions from anyone or your mind trick you into thinking that you can't celebrate. Yes, you can. 
all right as long as you pay this person i'm feeling like this person's gonna make the effort to make sure they let go of their control issues basically if you give them money to go out of town to watch your baby this person is gonna do the the best work they could possibly ever do because of this money if you weren't giving them money and you were just asking them hey could you watch my baby for me this person probably would start a whole bunch of shit because like I said, you're very protective over your child. So you got to let your baby, you got to separate from your baby a little bit. Trust that. Oh my gosh, that's giving me anxiety because I am so like that with my baby. Like, it's not that I won't let her go nowhere, but I know how I'm being gang stalked and I'll be damned if I just take my eyes off my child for a minute, okay? But this person says, uh, the Holy Spirit says, let go of your control issues. This is your soulmate. You guys have to link up to make a better life for your child and soon to, soon to have children, Okay. Yeah, you guys got to get together. You guys have been separated. Maybe you couldn't express your romantic feelings to each other because of maybe your belief systems or what other people believed about you guys. Uh, but your passion is very, very strong for each other. And uh, your life is coming to a higher level of commitment right now. This person maybe wants to retreat with you so that y'all can elope or get engaged and then come back and get married. Just keep an open mind about this entire situation. Continue to let go of this energy that your exes keep sending your way because they feel that you're going to have a break through these people feel that you're going to be fucking married okay so they're trying to throw your attraction off but you deserve love so it's people out here doing love spells on you trying to get you away from this masculine they don't want you to go on this trip they want you to worry about your child they want you to think your child's going to be in danger so that you don't go on this trip maybe they've been sending you dreams about stuff happening to your child or you just been excessive over worrying about your child recently and that's because of these people this person is the one and they know that and they don't want to release you from their control issues or their binds from the past because once you link up with this person, your chemistry is too strong. It's going to blow all that other shit out the water. So just, just trust it, honey. Just trust it, okay? Give your relationship and yourself a chance. My goodness. You and this masculine, you don't know who this is because you feel like you've known each other before. Everything is so easy with you guys. It's not all this i have to be like this or i have to be like that or i can't show this person that emotion everything just flows and it's kind of like you guys are so nervous with how it flows you might shake a little bit when you're around each other but that's because the energy is so strong and you guys have both called in your soulmate from letting go of these codependent ass people letting go of these controlling ass people controlling situations all right people who weren't giving you giving you the the, the love you deserve in past partnerships it could be like family situations, uh, ex and karmic situations, all that. But this, this, this is something that's worth waiting for. Okay, you feel like you've been waiting forever. This is worth waiting for. You have paid attention to all the red flags and stayed out of bad situations. This is your time to just let things flow. Okay, so this heart to heart conversation is going to help you stay optimistic, and maybe you'll learn some things in the past. Yeah, it's like inner child healing going on. Working through all these restraints from people you partnered up with that wanted to hold you back. This is one person that's going to allow you to be free. You had a lot of people trying to keep you roped up, okay? Because we have free yourself and then we got this unicorn trapped in this small little uh, small little circle cage thing thingy <laughs> amongst all of these beautiful flowers and freedom. And that's you. Everybody's been blocking you from being free, blocking you from this union, blocking you from this reconciliation of two souls from the past and it's over with now okay so don't let that baby situation hold you back love i'm hearing you going off to make another baby <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah you're going off to make another baby what and these people refuse to let you go okay i told you back to this this energy this fresh energy vitality strength okay this masculine says you give him butterflies and every time he be with you you be trying to run uh-uh he said he's going to make it to where you are in this space with just him and y'all gonna be so into each other you ain't gonna have nowhere to hide <laughs> i'm here ready or not here i come you can't hide okay this person feels like i'm gonna be with you all day every day and that's what we need yes he needs time alone with you and no one else interfering he loves how you love yourself and he's infatuated with you okay <clears throat> again he want to be with you 24 7 that's all this masculine thinks about that's what you think about as well and he wants to be with you this like this man's gonna take you somewhere and propose to you okay he wants to marry you the time is now right oh child hallelujah this is some good energy 
okay the timing is now right he wants to know how to please you he will whoa okay so not only is he bringing a ring on this trip but he bringing a couple toys and a couple adult things for you guys too because he plan on girl you ain't you won't need no other body okay because only he can work your body Ooh, this man is yeah, he said he ain't got no time for them quickies no more. He trying to take his time. He trying to use these toys, these binding things. <laughs> Some about a feather. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> Ew. Okay, he like tatas. He want to. Okay, I'm not going to go there. Why um, is he all into it? He all into you. Let's just say that. I mean, I really like what you done to me. I can't really explain it. I'm so into you. I can't sing right now, y'all. <clears throat> it's early in the morning. <laughs> Gotta clear my throat and all that. Y'all know I do my readings at night when I done been talking my shit all day. My throat box, I opened up, child. I ain't had a good time to do nothing this morning. I was woken up to come do this. I might post it later on today, but, you know, excuse the vocals. Y'all know I be on point any other day, and it's we're not here for singing. We're here for tarot, all right? Even though i love to be a little songbird because music heals all right once you start trusting yourself and living out loud and being able to celebrate and sing and and dance out loud it's a healing process that's what i'm going through right now so the singing the dancing i love it all and it's good for my soul i encourage you guys to do it as well too okay but yeah this person trying to trick you out oh girl he like he like your fellatio <laughs> yeah it's more than just your fellatio but that fellatio is most definitely keeping this masculine because he said you take care of it oh my god y'all <laughs> what is this <laughs> yeah this man said you take care of it so uh you're real passionate with your fellatio okay uh he loves when you call and he wants you to call more like all the time like he needs you to heal he feels like that he feels like ever since he got in your energy everything's just going right for him and he never wants to not have that like he just feel like he got to take care of you this is so sweet okay he says he likes to role play and he admires you girl binding okay all kind of freak nasty stuff this man said he's gonna get into your mental and your your physical yeah just being close to you is intoxicating he want to take it slow he wants to know if you feel the same way he does he wants to also let you know he sees you for who you are and you don't have to try to like hide anything from him you don't have to try to hide yourself from him maybe you like to be affectionate physically so you're kind of like hey can i hug you can I get a hug? Can I love on you? He's not going to care. Do it. <laughs> He's like, whatever. Don't be weird. Like, yeah, be on me. Be on me. <laughs> okay? His mask going to say, no, be on me. Like, when I see you, you're supposed to feel like this. When <laughs> he, he is so obsessive and funny, but it's going to be in a good way. Okay? He's just like, no. Like, I don't know. If you've never had anyone who's just all into you, he's going to be that. But it like not in an overstepping your boundary type of way. Like, you're going to be cool with all this okay he could tell it was good as soon as he slid in being close to you is intoxicating because your essence is intoxicating and he wants to pr protect you that's why i said he's like obsessive but it's all good like he wants to protect you okay he plans on loving you in the future he likes to switch positions <laughs> this person is an acrobat this man is if you ain't been working out work out get your get your get your get your meg squats in okay because this man is trying to <laughs> It's gonna be out of this world. He said he can't wait to love you, okay? And you're his only love. He's trying to learn your body, bitch. You need to be doing some squats, stretching them legs, okay? Because this man's gonna bend you up like a pretzel. I'm seeing somebody just like, you know, Chris Brown, let me switch up the tempo. Like, y'all gonna go from one to another, to another, to another. Ew. And I'm gonna just say this and let it go. It's like one of the moves where don't take it out, just switch positions. All right, that's it. This man's trying to be very nasty. Yes, undercover freak. <laughs> about to go all right y'all this is it this is all my loves i'm gonna try to keep some of this freak nasty stuff in y'all bedroom for y'all because if i keep going i feel like i'm gonna be able to tell you everything that's gonna go on look at me still look at i want it all the time undercover freak want to take a trip are you happy without me because you better not be do you still think about me because i think about you i like them back shots <laughs> bye y'all <laughs>